Hi, we're back. Um, I'm going to use some of the two-in-ones rather than the pashminas, and I'm going to work with three of them today, but you, I'll show you how to do if you just want to use one, two, three, however you want to use it. And I've just taken my volumizer off from the last video, so my hair looks ratty, but that's all right. This is an act of love. Okay, so the first thing I do, I like a little bit more volume, so I'm going to use my sock and I'm going to put it in the, the middle, the round part, flip it over, and then I'm going to put it on my head. And it's just like putting on a, a ski cap or any, any other cap that you want to wear. Um, just get it on there and I tighten it in the back. Don't want to get my hair in there. <laughs> okay, so once I've done that, then I'm going to choose which color. I'm going to start with the green since I'm wearing a green outfit today. These are very nice. I'm going to show you how they just kind of unravel. They're not supposed to be ironed. They're not supposed to be real great. They're supposed to be look like they're a little bit wrinkly. Um, so before we get started putting this on, I want to show you in order to get it to look like this, which it takes up very little room in a closet or even a box if you want to put it in a box, a drawer. Um, what I do is I take the two ends that have the, the tails on them in one hand and I take the other one in my other hand and I will just start to twist, 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 twist. Keep twisting until it gets tight to the point it wants to fall back on itself. And then as it falls back on itself, you have the little hole here. You put the tails through there and then you just throw it in a drawer. And this is how we store these two-in-ones and they're from Rapunzel. Um, Rapunzel has a really nice selection of two-in-ones. Let me move some of this out of the way and my pin so it doesn't snag these. Now you can kind of see these are pretty sheer. They're really nice for summer. Um, you can almost see me through that. They're nice for summer. They're great for winter too because you can put more than one on. You can put a bunch on. This is laying. This is laying crooked okay my my camera shows like a convex it changes the way it looks so i apologize i i think i'm working on this side but i'm actually working on this side okay so what you're going to do is pretty much like we did the other one i'm going to go ahead and see how much i haven't worked with these in quite a few years so i don't really need to fold up too much just enough to get the edge out of the way. And then I want to lay that, see, I'm going, okay. <laughs> it's very hard, this, this video is very hard to, to deal with. So I just want to lay that on the edge, take these to the back. Now, if you tie them, that's great. If you don't tie them, just pull them a little bit tight so that they and you might have to futz with it just a little bit. You don't have to. It pretty much works itself. But there we go. So So if I want this to be the only one that I'm wearing, a lot of times you can just go ahead and pull this up. You could twist it a couple times if you want to, and then tuck the one end under so that it's all hidden. All those little tails are hidden. And then you can bring this to the back and tuck it up the back. Okay, so that's if you just want to work. <laughs> See, I'm going to tuck these so they're out of the way. And you just tuck them under the scarf. 
they work perfectly well if they're sucked up under the scarf. The scarf will hold them. So that's one. And again, I just have one pin out today, so that's all I'm going to show you. But you could put necklaces. Um, Rapunzel has what they call a regal clasp, and it's basically just some elasticity and some fun toys that you can add to any necklace that you have and turn it into a crown and then wear it across here. I don't have any with me. I'll try and do that in one of the next videos. But with the pins, you just, let's see, you just put them wherever they, you think they're going to be prettiest, wherever you like to wear it. And it dresses it up with just a little bit of, of work. Okay, I'm going to take this one apart and I'm going to leave it like this. Um, actually, I'm going to show you a different way. So yesterday, or the other, the other video that we did, we talked about, you know, these are even, these ends are even, but I'm going to do it so that I have a short end on one of these, maybe all of them. And so then you want to make sure that you have There we go. You want to make sure that you have enough that when you get it in the back, you can actually put it up under. Now, I want to show you a trick with the up under. When you want to do just a small tail like this, you want to make sure that your small tail's underneath. No, sorry. You want to make sure that your small tail's over. Tuck it up under the tie and then tuck it over again to tuck under your volumizer. That way this doesn't come untied. If you don't tie it really tight, it won't give you a headache, but some of the girls get a little crazy with pulling them tight and you can cause yourself a headache. So that's why a lot of them have come up with just wrapping them, just not even tying them in the back, but just wrapping them. Okay, so you see I have a long tail here. I'm going to start with another one. And this is a very pretty, again, you could just use it with this. Just take your tail and wrap it, make yourself a crown, bring it over here. You can either tuck it or if you bring it to the entire side, you can put it through here and make just a little tail. And that's pretty easy. And it sticks with itself. And again, bling it up if you like. Okay, so that's just using one scarf. Let's go with the second scarf. And again, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to keep my tail fairly short. And some of the girls will do this. I am, I'm not trying to do that. It's just this this uh, the mirror image in the camera is just really hard to see so i don't think i have enough let's do that okay so this little tail that i have the long tail i'm actually going let's see where am i that's that one that's this one okay i'm going to go ahead and pull this behind underneath the green one And then I'm going to take this one back. And again, I want the short tail over the long tail. Bring it up under and over. And then again, I'm just going to tuck. And you can tuck it under the scarves. The scarves will hold it too. Okay. Now, with just two of them, there's quite a few things you can do. You can start to twist. And again, I like this because it makes it look like a crown. And you can kind of see. Or what you can do is you can take each individual one separately again. For example, I put the green on first and then the gold, so I'll go back to the green. Let me get that unhooked. I'm going to fold it just a little bit to give myself an edge. And I'll go ahead and pull that up and over. So that I just have a 
little bit showing. This is very disconcerting looking into this video and seeing it backwards. It's just a lot of fun. Not really. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with my gold one. I'm going to bring it up. And it's not cooperating terribly nicely. So there we go. Bring it forward just a little bit. There we go. And so you can kind of see that I've gone ahead and done four different layers of color. And that's really cool. So then what I would what I would probably do is just go ahead and tie these and let them be a tail because they're not long enough to fall over my head again, you know, if I bring if I bring them this way, bring them up this way and I can't make a crown out. But it looks fine. If you're looking in your mirror in the bathroom, it's a lot easier to do this than looking into a camera that's switching your sides. But I just wanted to show you you can also add another one. <coughs> which could be quite fun. This one I'm not going to unwrap. This one I'm going to just use as the crown. And then you could actually Go ahead and wrap three of these together or braid them however you like. And once you get them how you like them, then you can splay the red one around those tails and bring them back up again. And then it's a little bit weird, but you just tuck these tails under everything. And wherever you have a little tail, you just start tucking. Just tuck, tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And then you have four, like, three colors but five levels so that's just something else you can do lots of things you can do with these to make them look really pretty and I hope this has been helpful I'm if if you really want to see some great videos go to Rapunzel.com they have a blog you can go on there and they will show you how to do some really fancy things these are basics what I'm doing nothing fancy about them but I hope they're helpful I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.